Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Carly Gaming Rocket League Season Challenge with myself, Ben, and Derek's sultry voice for questions. Ooh. Yeah, say, <laughs> just say something, Derek. Just say something, Derek. Uh, I think I said, ooh. Well, ooh. Okay, sure, that, uh, that is a thing. Uh, we also have my son Luke here in the office, just fair warning in case you hear a little cries or something. Who knows? Who knows? Hopefully he's going to be a good boy, aren't you? No. Yeah. Oh, he's smiling I'm not going to be able to focus <laughs> at like, all. I know. We're just going to be staring at Luke and we're going to get scored on like six times. It's going to be terrible. But we are playing the Seekers today. The team we defeated in the championship round in true. embarrassing true. fashion. Oh, embarrassing yeah. fashion. Yeah. yeah. yeah Demolished yeah. him. Yeah. It's, it's good stuff. You know, actually, I feel like the Seekers uh, have honorary Victor Crumb. As their um, as their team <laughs> manager, look at the the colors they're sporting. Yep, the they're name, Bulgarian. The seekers, yep, you know they got the ship. It's it's straight from um, Durmstrang. Straight from Durmstrang. Institute yeah, you're right. Technology. There's very much. Yep. There's a lot of Victor Crumminess <laughs> on there. Well, we will, we'll see how they do. Are you ready? I am so ready. I'm Let's sorry. do I'm it. Stop, Luke, gonna are stop you ready? Smiling at Luke now. I can't help it. Star He's base making eye contact with me, and it's so adorable. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Right, okay. 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 Here we go. Here we go. I'm sorry, Jay. Okay, you got oh it. You God. got the it. The Harry Potter bolt of lightning is pretty great. It's, it's, <laughs> it's making me You very will be happy. the downfall of Victor Crumb. You Victor Crumb. Oh, clearly. All right. Uh, first question is from Ghost Flower. Oh, oh my gosh, Ben, that was all. That was 100 percent you. I wasn't I, even over I, there. Honestly, I, I was just, trying to read the question. I, I, I kind of wow. just got the timing of it, like just on this cross. Just, just bam. Right. Ben, just keep doing that, and that'll be good. Luke, hey, hey. It's okay. it was a good thing, Luke. That was a good goal, wasn't He's it? He's smiling and crying. It's okay. He is. We're, we're very <laughs> cute. Oh. There you go. Oh, and oh my God, <laughs> games, and indeed the game started. The game no. is on. All right, the Ghost Flowers poses this question here. Okay. Uh, I still have feelings for my ex, and I have to see him all the time. He's in two of my classes and is part of my friend group. Advice on how to ignore, get rid of feelings, or tell him how I feel. Oh boy, the the, the unfortunate answer is that it's going to come down to a lot of time. Yeah. Basically. I I think that that's totally one where um, you're definitely going to need to, like, avoid any pettiness, for sure, especially mm. if they are part of your friend group, because I think that is the thing that nobody really wants uh, as a result of that, and it's like, anytime there's a breakup, especially if you guys have been together for, like, a long period of time, chances are you do have a whole bunch of shared friends. Yeah. And like it's it's always really hard to get past that. It's almost like and it's, that. it's like that's part of like breaking up with someone too is is just having uh, there are going to be friends that uh, you had together that you're not going to have apart. Right. Yeah. There yeah. there are going to be people that get you in the divorce or, or vice yeah versa. right exactly oh, Luke. Yeah, as it were. Luke, what's the matter, buddy? Oh, he's just trying to contribute to the questions is all. I think. He's like, I have things to say about this. <laughs> he's like, I went through a breakup too once. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know. It was so awkward. <laughs> it was so awkward. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We're flying back. We're flying back. It, it makes it its so hard to concentrate when I feel like on anything, whenever I can hear him fussing anywhere oh, no. at yep. all. Yep. It's like a problem for me. It's a, it's at a, the house. That's, that's an okay problem. That's an okay Jay. problem. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I can't focus because something's wrong with my child. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. yeah we get that. Yeah. <laughs> By wrong, I mean he's just. I, who even knows? He just ate like one of the biggest bottles of his life. Oh, I missed. Oh no! Oh, you missed. Oh gosh! Oh. Classic Victor Crumb tactics happening there. Uh, the Ronsky faint. The Ronsky faint. Faint. Boom! Take that. That was a nice clear. Jeez, look at that. Um, all right, we had a question here. I feel like some yeah. So it's oh, uh, yeah. what to do with uh, uh, an ex where you still have feelings. You've got and you have to see them. Have They're, to see it's, them. It's, it's regardless of the friend group thing. Uh, they also do have some classes together, so that's not super great. Right, right, right. So I think that there's probably some amount of um, oh, this oh, going man. salty. <laughs> Letting him fuss. Ugh. Okay. Is that all you needed? Um, you I got think, it. I think when it comes to having classes with somebody, too, like, that's one of those, like, classic uh, high school problems, especially, yeah, or, right. or college, uh, where, like, almost regardless if, oh hey, my God. Oh, 
What am I, why am I even playing? <laughs> you don't need me. Look at this. Ben's just soloing this whole game. I'm just really trying to impress Luke. That's all. That's I'm, all. I'm determined to be cool Uncle Ben. <laughs> that was a good hit. That was a good hit. Um, Years. I'm going to let you keep taking it because apparently you're awesome on offense. <laughs> and we'll uh -oh. see. Oh, that was not awesome, Jade. Not be awesome. Off be off the top. Oh, well, you got break it. Away? Break away. Oh. Don't mess with Benjamin when he's on a break away. Oh. Way he's going to head over the other Way side. Above, but I got Salty completely covered here. <laughs> oh. I missed the follow-up. Oh, okay. nice. Coming back around. Coming back around. Oh, oh nice. nice. Yeah. yeah. With the goal. Okay, Jay, uh, oh, help, help me with this advice here because I'm trying to think of, of good I, things. To I do. am trying to think of how I handled this in high school. You know, we actually, one of our best friends, we've talked about him on this show before, you dated his older sister. That is exactly and... the situation I'm talking about okay. where, uh, it, like, I dated a girl in 10th grade and then, like, around, it turned out, at the time, I wasn't best friends with her little brother, but uh, by the time high school ended, I was. That was me. Thank you for the bump. And, oh, that's going to go all the friggin' way. And then I ended up having, like, something of a crush on her again. And, like, our... I cannot believe I missed that. We're going to get to go anyway. Uh, and I did not handle it well. I was basically like, I'm going to try and break these people up. No! Oh, my gosh. I completely forgot about this. The, yeah. the, the, the guy she went on to marry. Yeah, yeah. Turns, yeah. Uh, I did not succeed, so I wouldn't recommend that at all. It was just... it was. I, I'm embarrassed to think about those times now. That's okay. That's, so, see, that's the thing. Is you that, got like, it. I... Huh? Sure, your oh. ball. Your oh, ball. Okay. Um, that's so funny because I never think about that anymore. I remember at the time, like, how it, it seemed like this dire thing. And, like, as your brother, I was like, I am fully in support of everything <laughs> Jay does. Obviously, who's this jerk this girl is dating that no one likes? Oh, that, no. Oh, no. Uh, no. There's nothing we can by, do about that. But no one likes, I mean, he's a very nice person and I do like him. <laughs> <laughs> turns out he's turns, delightful. Turns out, very cool guy. Um, but no, I, I think that that's like part of the part of the process. And the good thing about being in high school is that like there is the ability to still go on. I think to um, potentially uh, have have some um, preservation of that relationship, just depending on how how long it was and everything. So um, I think give it time and, and understand that probably some of the awkwardness and adjusting to the new circumstances will eventually happen, um, oh, no. even if it's nice. Not. Nice person. Good D, good D. Even if it's not comfortable right now. Yep, oh. I mean, oop. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Hit. <laughs> they gave me that one. That's okay. Yeah, they popped it in. We're all on the same We're team. on the same team. Hey. Better have you there to punch it in. Yeah. I don't know how you got that one. You know, I'm having this really awkward thing going on right now with one of my ex-teammates who stole the glory from me. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, oh no. Oh man. What a bounce. Your ball. I still can't figure that out. <laughs> yeah. The flying. You for trying, though. The Rocket uh, League. Oh, they're just gonna score themselves? Oh, oh, yeah. Was that salty? It was obviously me, according to the uh, Take that, game. Victor Crumb. Yeah. This is, that's really the big thing now, is I'm like... <laughs> I'm just so motivated by the Your fact ball. that we're, we're beating him. This is basically the Triwizard Cup and the Quidditch World Cup at the same time. At the time. same time. That's going to maybe that? go. Oh, man, they're flying the shot on goal. You should be able to punch it in. Boom! Jeez. That's right. Get out of the way, Victor Crumb. Yeah. Dang, how are you guys feeling about pro? Yeah. Uh, oh, man. I, no, Derek, let's not get ahead of <laughs> ourselves. We're, we're having a good game. Let's get ahead of ourselves. Uh, we have uh, Luke here <laughs> cheering us on. Yeah, I think that's, that's, I think that's most of it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Your ball. Okay. Although, this is this is, this is is how we played the, the Seekers last time. They are just bad against us, if I yeah, recall. This, is, this, this might is... be the same score, even. I think that you can... Uh, what, would, what would you guys say about actually just talking to the person and being like, hey... Uh, not super duper comfortable in process. Oh, yeah, um, I, I mean, I think good communication across the board and always being respectful. Um, like, I know that, like, the last breakup that I went through um, was uh. one of the most uh, respectful that, like, in my life, where I think both of us knew that um, any amount of nearness would uh, be difficult for the other. Oh my gosh. No, the ball missed. Everyone it. missed. First touch okay. still has not happened. If you, yet. Okay, there we if go. If you would have hit that straight down the middle, it would have just. Gone right. Yeah. 
There's a weird thing when you start on the offset like that, though. You kind of gotta... Yeah. yeah. You gotta get the Woo! angle. Boom. Oh, Team right, Skywater. Buddy. Not even close. What do you think, Luke? We did it, We buddy. won. We did it. 56 cars bumped in that one. Wow. Ben, I know Ben's strategy. I just run into cars. Actually, heck no. Am I changing cars not, mine, Yeah, I'm not changing. Yeah, from the scope. What do you... Oh, you have lightning. Yeah. No lightning. I wish, man, I wish they'd give me that. I feel like we haven't gotten good rewards. I know. What's up with that? Oh, the we cosmetics in a while. A game. Seven oh. to three. Take that. Look at this. Apparently, we're still not good enough to be at the top of the standings, though. Only the, number my, Rebels my two. My seventh grade soccer team, the Rebels, the is, Rebels. is currently... Is, that's exactly who it is. It's your seventh grade soccer team. Yeah, so yeah. so Michael Byrne, Michael Austin. Yeah, uh, Mike and Mike. I don't. I can't remember anybody else. Devin, I believe, was on that team. Oh, fun. Shout out to Devin if you're watching. Fun memory just now. Way before we did this full time or Derek worked for us, I remember Derek and I once joking on Twitter that we were going to have a podcast called Not Mike and Not Mike in yes. the Morning. Yes, I remember that as well. <laughs> oh, my God. And it would be... Let me tell you, I'm not saying it's a bad idea. I'm just... <laughs> We can make it happen. We can make it happen. We're just gonna. It'll be us talking. It'll be sports ball talk. It'll be great. Yeah. Sports ball talk. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh uh, boy. All right. Ready for match two against? Oh, we're against the Express. Our hated rivals. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I love it. I oh love goodness. It. Oh, hated hometown rivals. And they're doing terrible. They're too. doing. They're oh, not. They're on a one game win streak. They already. I believe. Yeah. They are. They are. They finally so. got got their act together in the last round. Utopia. The Utopia Coliseum. Coliseum. Oh, man, you know that they're they're hot with us right now. Just. Filled with Your rage ball. over the uh, the last time we've met. We knocked them out of the tournament, basically. We did. Is what happened. Right. <laughs> so this one's coming from uh, from the Discord. Uh -oh. By the way, you can join the uh, Super Comic Brothers Discord at patreon.com slash Super Comic Brothers. Yeah, highly recommend. Um, and then you can like, chat with us and even submit questions. Yeah. It's some, uh, so some this is from Dave and Claw the Hobbit. Dave and Claw, I love the name. Uh, he says, how do you so deal well, we with a co who does not want to work in a new system? Related, how do you deal with the boss who, that you know more? Uh, how do you deal with a boss you know more than in the new system? <laughs> oh man, so I mean, the thing about the first part of that question is that no one likes change ever. So right, that, just right. give them time; they're gonna come around to it. Like they don't have a choice, basically, is what it comes down to. And for the second part of that system, a good boss will. Oh no! Oh, that went straight into the goal at a million miles an hour. What happened? Was 93 it miles per hour. Man. Jeez, Holy how cats. did it even happen? I don't. I, uh, I must have just. You just missed. That's missed what happened. It. Goodness gracious! I'm sorry, I didn't see that. That buddy. was. Oh my not, gosh. You're supposed to be cool, Uncle Ben. Here, Jeez, no, what happened? No, I don't know what happened. Now I'm embarrassed, and I feel like I'm gonna lose all of whatever was my mojo in this game. Ba bam. Ba bam. Ba bam. Indeed. So, um, the second part of that question about uh, when you know more about them. Like, honestly, like, a good boss should be happy with this information. Oh, That's very almost. true. Like, um, like yeah. being able to rely on, um, being able to rely on your staff to offer insight that maybe you don't have oh. is the whole point of the system. Like, right. I know that a lot of times you can be like, I know so much more about this than you. Why are you the boss and why am I not? But, right. you yeah. know, everybody is contributing something into that equation. Like, I actually feel this all the time, Derek, with you. Like, where you are, you're DJ. Yep. Uh, you are much more savvy to all things YouTube. You're much more familiar with other creators. Well, I mean, that's why I got my job. <laughs> right. No, I know, I know. Um, but, like, yeah, that's, uh, oh, Jeebs. There it's, we go. It's a constant case where I'm like, oh, Derek knows so much more about what we do than I do. Um, but it's really, The, the, really the problem helpful. comes when the there's a sense of superiority and, uh, from the person who is the not boss, right? Right. Like, so I know more than you, so I should be the boss. Right. right. And the, and right. the real answer is like, you have your position probably because you know more. Like it's that that is your job is to know more. Yeah. Boom. Score. Boom. Um, right through the like that's middle. why you have that job is because like, you, you know, and the, what what your boss should ideally be good at is managing you and like helping putting you into a position uh, to succeed. Right. More. Right. Absolutely your ball. Agreed. Was there any? Was there another part of that question, Derek, that we need to, to better tackle? Um, no, I think that was great. I think that's uh, that was pretty well covered. Let me find another one here. All right, this one's from uh, the Wise Griff. The Wise uh, again Wise from Griff. Discord. 
Uh, any advice on decision making from the small and significant decisions to the big oh. life changing ones? I consider all of the variables and usually overthink to a degree, and therefore am horribly indecisive and sometimes get overly anxious when trying to make decisions. Oh man. Uh, oh man. Let's see. Oh, first of all, maybe. I, oh, I think we ran into each other. Yeah, a little bit. Um, I think categorizing decisions can be like a really, really good thing. Um, like, so I know right now, uh, one of the things, like, my, actually my whole life basically, I was super, super <laughs> excited to buy a house because I was like, I'm gonna do all the upgrades and I'm gonna like redo my master bath and all this stuff and like Bruh. that's gonna be my sole objective. Um, and now that I've got the house, I, I find myself in a position where I'm, like, constantly teeter-tottering between, like, ten different decisions, and I can't make a decision because everything has its pros and cons. Sure, 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 yeah. We're, we're and, like, realistically, uh, you have a number of choices, and all of them are pretty good ones. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And, and so it's like, when, when you're trying to decide amongst other good decisions, it's like, well, this is not easy. Yeah. Um, and I think that that's where um, taking some time to um, uh, center ball, center ball. Oh, oh um, got it away. Taking some time to like really go through and do like actual assessments of like what would benefit you the most, or you know, um, like what actually matters to you the most, even. Because that's that's one of those like where I know Jay uh, has talked about this before, um, but like he hates when people describe doing something to their house because it'll help the resale value. Oh it's like. It's like, that's not why I'm doing it. I'm doing it because I would really I want like the to thing. have whatever. It's like, you live there. You know, yeah. you, you should yeah. be making the decision <laughs> oh based on what will make you happy. My main complaint with that is when realtors do it and they'll be like, oh, yeah, this is a great house. All you got to do is redo this bathroom. And that'll add so much to the resale value. It's like, you're selling you're selling porn on the house is how I can resell the house. <laughs> yeah, like, Eventually, yeah. Yeah, I'm like, no, no. Sell me on this house. God, oh, it's so annoying. Anyway. Anyway. Why can't oh, anyone yeah, just want the get? Why? Yeah, it's like when people are only doing stuff for the resale value and not for the, not for their own personal enjoyment of what they're going to get out of it. Right. Like, right. oh, we need to redo the kitchen so we can sell this. Like, you lived there for twenty years and you didn't redo the kitchen. Now you're going to do it. Oh my Woo. god. That was scary. Oop, but just scary. was. No. Oh, you're good. You're good. You're good. Oh, good. They're not going to score. It was towards the goal-ish, but not in it. <laughs> towards the goal. I know, Luke. It was close. It was close. Cool Uncle Ben's losing all of his points over here. Uh, I'm gonna go for the center ball. Um, so was there something specific? I know that I kind of commandeered that question to be about um, <laughs> specifically home Ben's renovations. Own house. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, it's it's about you know like it just being horribly indecisive and, and getting anxious when, when making decisions and uh, what uh, someone might be able to do to uh, not feel not like be so anxiety. indecisive. Yeah, yeah. The, I mean it sounds like such obvious advice but it's like making that first decision is going to be the the hardest one and then after that it'll just be easier hold on buddy hi Aww. oh man focusing more on the child than the game which is probably advised but uh <laughs> just <laughs> fyi just fyi you're on your own just, yeah, this is a 1v2 <laughs> match now hey just keep oh god for the next oh seconds. god we only have nine seconds luke nine seconds seven we've got it we've got it we're going to blink only be totally fine. you can do it you're gonna be okay, buddy. Oh, oh we won. What do you thank know? Thank goodness. All Hi. right. Hi. Now we'll do a quick closing out of the episode so that Jay can tend to his small child. Okay. Uh, if you guys you have go. any other questions for us, be sure to leave them in the comments down below. Uh, we're always excited to help out with anything that we can. But until next time, bye. bye.